Hi, I'm Mina San. Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Abby Kareen, your Finley Neighborhood Nerd, and we are back with Severance. This is episode four called The You You Are. We will jump in. Last episode was um, kind of sad. I feel so bad for PD. Like, just the, the procedure of being Severance is just so dangerous, and it's just like, it blows my mind that it's like a thing in this world. I mean, and, and there's like so many red red flags as well, because like you'll see, uh, you know, people protesting, people, you know, bringing up legislation for this. And it, it's just very scary. And also just like going to the, what is it? The, the per perpetuity room. That's just like, I want to know what this is all about. Like, why, is, why are they calling these people? They're like the workers, their children. I don't like that. That's creepy, very cultish. <laughs> and then on top of that, it's just like, you don't know what they are doing. Like what PD said, this like, because, you know, Mark was just like, oh, you know, I'm just, I mean, they're to escape. And it's just like, well, what are, what if you are killing like eight people every time you go down there or work or whatever, like killing millions or what, who knows? Like it's, it's very nerve wracking and it seems very nefarious because like the whole upper management seems nefarious. They, they do not seem like friendly people. <laughs> Can we just say that? They don't. And with the upper like level positions, like it's just nerve wracking because like Cobell is like Mark's neighbor and is spying on him. I just, I, that's a complete violation of privacy. It, who knows? Maybe he signed into agreement somewhere. It's just like if you stay in this, like in the um, Lumen, um, you know, apartment or townhouses or whatever, maybe they would have the right to like come into his home without his, you know, consent. I, I don't know. I don't know. But it makes me worried. And then like, was it Stephanie, the one who we saw in their interview and then talking to Cobell because she was even more higher up? I don't like that because she literally, or like Cobell really went through the same thing Mark did. And I, I mean, I don't think that's going to humble her or anything. I think that's just how the Lumen hierarchy works and whoever is in charge, they, the board. It's a bit weird that we haven't like heard anyone on the other end. Like, is it, is it just an all social experiment? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna jump in because I want to see honestly Irving. <laughs> oh, and and check up what's happening with Helly because um after she was in the uh the break room right Mickey Reed and do the and the detection like if you're actually being genuine or not which is wild in itself. So we will start. We'll get into this and uh, enjoy the craziness, which is severance. <laughs> if you'd like to check out the full reaction to this episode, you can find it on my Patreon on the upper S class tier. Oh, oh, how long has she been there? Like, what's forcing her to sit in that seat? Do they have her strapped down? And the bright light in your face. I mean, can we take a nap? Gosh, that's way past time. But she's injured, so I know they're gonna like, give her a little like gift certificate and say, hey, sorry, this happened today while you were at work. No. What she needs to do is be like, why am I injured? I'm not going back there. Like any job that has this happen to it, you don't want to work there. I wonder if there's a note in her. No, 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 no. He would, it would be detected. I just, cause like, See you tomorrow, fuck off. I mean, she has no idea the torture that her body. <sighs> I know. Seriously. That's all you can do. That, this is hell. This feels like hell. You can't, like, escape it. They have all... Paraphrasing is okay. What the stapler? Oh, he brought the tote bags. Thinking about what you said about being excited when you have the totes and people kidding and teasing. No. Best friends. Da, da, da. You know, because you mentioned the anticipation to distract from your work, which was the opposite of my intention. <laughs> okay. You gotta have more tote bags. And he know. Oh. God, that is so sad. 
<laughs> and you have this joy right here, this sweet lamb. Watch, he's gonna be disemboweled. Everyone does this. Everyone is drawing maps to the place. A part of me wonders if it like shifts, like, you know, in like the labyrinth with my, my sweet boy, David. I mean, it's poetic. It's poetic. This is, them bonding is nice. Are they a couple? Don't shit where you eat. What time is it? I have to go. Guys, this, this is like broken another barrier. Cause it's like, he could be, I mean, again, I can't say exactly if this is like, this hand thing is like them being a couple or like liking each other to the degree, like if they're gay or not, which again, it's all good. But like, it's weird because no, it's not weird. It's crazy to think like maybe Irving is gay in the severance level, but above, well, it, well, I'm just sorry. I'm just, I'm, my mind is just, what if it was different? What if, she, what if he had a wife? But his, his, his severance bit doesn't know it. I don't know. It's, it's just, this show just is so trippy. That's what it is. Error. Error. <laughs> I knew he was, I knew that book was gonna come back into play. Why, why? It's just so crazy that Cobell would bring that into the, the space at all. Are there not cameras? And is it written to Mark? Is is it it's for you? Mark, what is this? Maybe it's another PD message. Look, there's see my name's anywhere. I bet it's another one of the PD messages. Okay. Excellent decision, Mark. This is an idolatrous text that should be brought to him immediately. He's just me. <laughs> and she's just chilling. <laughs> Looking beautiful. Um, Mark's gonna have to go through something down here to really get his shit together. Oh. What are we doing with this? I mean, I'm for it. For it. Let's start hacking people so we can get out of there. Yes. Come on. No, I look like I'm fucking around. Oh, shit. Hi, Mark. Just catching up with your friend. <laughs> this is a fun little meeting. Could you get the video camera, please? But is there an actual way that she's gonna get this tape? Oh, boss. Guess this is the part where I should tell you to go to hell. Except you're already here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Reality check every time she speaks. <laughs> I love her. Come on, Helly. This is, this is Black Mirror. This is fucking Black Mirror. I am a person. You are not. Oh my god! You're fighting against yourself and that is the fucking scariest thing. Poor Helly. I would be so mad at myself. Like, how dare you not tell Oh, but but they but she doesn't view her as a person. Oh, that's so messed up. His corpse is scheduled to be destroyed by cremation following his funeral on Sunday. FYI. I wonder if people outside will use this because if he was a Lumen um, employee and this ship isn't safe, if he collapses unexpectedly, people could use that against Lumen. She is just following him, and I don't. I mean, she's there for the chip, but I just. He's my dad. I wonder if he told her anything. I suppose you were close and everything. Hmm? <laughs> her face. Honestly, people get some balls, and if someone is is impeding in your space and in your peace. Tell them to piss off. I wonder if her, 
Him and Judy. Yeah, okay. I was about to say. I feel like maybe Dad might have left her some clues or something. Aww. He used to be so happy. Lumen destroys me. And she wasn't... That wasn't that long. Oh. Did he... I wonder if Petey did the severance because him and his wife... I want to know his story now. I want to know everything. Uh, if there also to just to let y'all know if there's any type of her digging in his skull, I have to look away or uh, I will pass out. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and watch as much as I can without passing out. And she's psychotic because it's like all this is to keep him in line. You know, sorry, I'm thinking about Helly again. <laughs> Actually, no, I'll, I'll pause. I'll wait because I'm just like, I would be a petty bitch. <laughs> be a very, 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 very petty bitch uh, to my Audi if that was her take on it. You have some type of control, even though that would probably you know, mean mutilation on oneself, but to fuck them up, yeah. <laughs> it's better. I'd rather be dead than living in that hell. No. Is this caution tape? I mean, hopefully this will be a great show to talk about the importance of uh, grief and working through it healthy versus running away. Like I'm hoping besides all the crazy stuff that's just happening at Lumen, it being a crazy cult of some sort, like we can work on, this will help people work on themselves more, not run away. It's tough, it's tough to face reality and the loss of something. Oh. I'm like hoping that he'll mil milchick. Um, oh my god. How? Oh my god. <laughs> Can I confess I've done this to a boy I've had a crush on before? I kind of just go, ooh, ooh. And I just. He could fall. Oh, could all fall. When you're at the highest peak, you can fall. I never thought in my wildest dreams this pairing being such a powerhouse. Getting them ideas. Mm hmm. We'll see. I mean, hey, I said it. I said I was gonna be a petty bitch. I'd be pettiness. You're not really real anyway, so we might as well just. Sometimes I. That's the candle from his house. Fucking wild. The manipulation here to like give him comfort, because that was in a box. So I'm assuming that was from his wife. So that smell is automatically gonna like bring him calmness and like. I guess even though there are cameras, is it only Cobell who can see, like sur survey those? I would feel like the actual board would like ob observe everything. I draw, I sculpt a penis. <laughs> I just, I just. Fuck everyone. I'm just that girl. I don't I don't belong <laughs> in corporate. What? Where are you going? What is all that? Sturdy. Oh my god. Is she really gonna 
We didn't even get her that long. If, if she's actually, I mean, if that progresses the story and for Mark to maybe make some changes, maybe that will help. But I am really sad that this, I do like her. Really? You guys, really? And it's over, watch, it's over. This show is bananas, like, first of all, <laughs> don't kill yourself. <laughs> okay, before I actually like dive into the review, um, cause I am gonna make some comments and I wanted to just give like a trigger warning for them real quick, just, just to be on the safe side. So trigger warning, this is a talk about suicide. Um, the words that I say here, this is all talking about this fictional world. Like if you feel like you, you know, want to kill yourself or have suicidal thoughts, please find help. Please talk to someone that supports you. If you don't have anyone in your local community to support you, call the hotline. It's important that you talk this through before you make any rash decisions. So, and I'm not an expert on that stuff. I'm just saying this stuff out loud real quick before I dive into this because this is fantasy world right here. But in regards to Heli, or, you know, the Severance Heli, I say good honor. Fuck the real Heli. Like, this whole thing is messed up. And I'm the petty bitch. Where it's just like, if I'm this version, where I'm stuck in this, it's hell. It's hell. They don't treat you well. You think they treat you well. It's it's cultish. It's it's controlling. It's manipulating. It's dangerous. Um, so, like, if I was her in this position, I would I would kill myself. I would. Fuck the real Audi. Fuck her. She doesn't care about me. I'm not a real person to her. So why would I want to be alive anyway? Like that was the worst way for her Audi to talk to her. And then on top of that, just the idea of, again, I'm just like this Heli in the Severance space in Lumen. She is not a person. There are not people there, which is so trippy. It's very much Black Mirror, which is terrifying. You know, because it's again, it's that mind thing and... Ugh it's just very unnerving and like the brain is so fragile. <laughs> Ooh, terrifying. Um, so we'll see, so we'll actually see if that actually like did happen or someone stopped it from happening. I don't know. Again, I'm, I'm a bit confused because you see all these cameras here and it's just like, they're not doing anything about anything. So there's no one surveilling, surveillancing like what's happening or is it all Cobell? Cause then that would make more sense. Cause she could only really focus on, specific areas but like I don't know I don't know it's just weird because like for Mark to be able to get the book that easily and to store it easily them looking at the map easily um Bert bringing a map map over Irving hanging out with Bert in his apartment instead of work it like there's just a lot of like shenanigans kind of going <laughs> shenanigans there's a lot of things going on right now and it doesn't seem like anyone's paying attention or they don't care because they maybe want to see what's going to happen or I don't know it's just it's weird that there's been no like security to like confiscate some of this stuff or just stop heli but now things are starting to crack I think you know we're not tearing down the walls yet but like the cracks are happening you know I think it's Dylan um he's read a little bit of the book now which will you know pique his curiosity Mark is already in this space of just like what's going on and I think with the death of heli that's really going to like shift things for him um and Irving do what he do but like, what is Bert and all the other people doing in that department? Like, we need answers. I know this is a mystery, so we ain't gonna get him yet. However, <laughs> I want him at some point. Sad for Petey and you know, the people in his life, his daughter, which I think June, yeah, June, she'll come into play later on, I feel like. I don't know if Petey maybe, you know, talked to her about some of the stuff in Lumen when he escaped. No, no, he hasn't seen her since, Never mind. We'll, we'll see if she becomes a part of the movement to stop Lumen and she'll work with Mark at some point like that would be kind of cool and there's also uh the cell phone that's been calling so I'm sure at some point Mark's gonna answer that and see who's on the other line like that stuff's important you gotta know overall great episode just great series it just blows my mind but that's gonna be it so <laughs> um thank you for watching and I will see you in the next reaction bye